Hi, in this video, I will show you how to create an extension of form data source method. Uh, let's uh, go to our project. For this example, I will use purge, uh, purge table form. In the purge table form, we have a uh, purge table data source, and I want to create an uh, extension for this data source init method. And in this init method, I can uh, create a, a filter or add a new uh, data source, etc., whatever I want. So let's uh, start. For this, we need to create a, a class first, of course. Let's create a new class. And Okay. First of all, we need to uh, set something here, of course. Extension of, uh, we need to say uh, form. Uh, data source and this one and we need to say our form first table this for name and this is the data source name now it's okay of course extension class must, must be final Say this one too, and now it's ready. Now I can uh, extend, create an extension. Sorry, I missed some pointers here. I can create an extension of uh, any data source method, but I want to create uh, a init method extension. So uh, let's create this one. Okay, now I create an uh, extension uh, methods for our uh, dot source init method. Uh, so let's uh, let's uh, create a form data source and uh, take the uh, data source variable uh, hand first. Like this, I can get uh, this forms data source purge table. Uh, now this is purge table data source actually. Let's change this table. Okay. Now I have purge table data source in my hand. Uh, with this, I can do many things. Uh, let's. Uh, for example, let's uh, take the query build data source and create a range for this. And query, query build data source QBDC search table.
tamam. Uh, let's create. I don't know. I am not sure. Let's create current script. It's not important which field. So let's create current script. Yes, yeah. It's not uh, a good example because, of course, we want all the uh, purchase uh, from all different currencies. Maybe uh, if there is uh, a menu item for uh, filtering uh, only USD purchase orders, etc. Now you can uh, use this kind of uh, method. Of course, with uh, with this, uh, you can use this to add new data source or whatever you want with this. For example, if you want to filter uh, this purge table with uh, another data source with exist join, you can add uh, you can add, add data source like this. And sorry. Um, for example, MR push type. There's, there isn't, there isn't any table like this, but you can do something like that. Okay, I'm closing this one. Uh, it's enough. Uh, so let's summarize. If you want to create an extension uh, for uh, data source method, you can use this code. First of all, uh, this line is mandatory. This is the extension of form data source and purge table, and this is data source name. Of course, your class must be final, and uh, of course, the, the name. Then you can override, you can create an extension of init method. Next is mandatory, you know, the, this is calling the uh, original method. Uh, and uh, for the data source, we are using this, uh, and I am get uh, I am taking a purge table uh, data source with this code. Then uh, this is my data source, uh, not query build, build data source. This is a form data source, which means uh, I can get uh, from this one query, and the, in query I can get. Uh, my uh, query build data source object, and after I uh, I have query build data source, I can do anything uh, with this one because uh, query now now in my hand, so I can filter or add new data source and change it all clear, clear ranges etc. I can do uh, what I can do with normal uh, query build data source object. So, I hope it's helping. Happy Vaxing!